right, here we go. Ah. The hell? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> if anybody wants to know what Mad BG stands for, that stands for Mad Video Gamer, which is the episodes I I pretty much do, and I put them on my YouTube channel. All right, so here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do 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 do. do. So right now I'm playing Castlevania 3. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, shit. All right, here we go. Oh yes, I can have the music up, <clears throat> which I respect. It's cool. Calm down. All right, so here. Oh, frickin' skeleton, bastard. That's what you get. All right. <clears throat> Fucking Medusa heads. I hate those Medusa heads. They're always a pain in the butt in every Castlevania game. At least for the 64. <clears throat> they don't really. Um... Well, they do pop up, but they're more easier to dodge on the 64 or anything than the regular Nintendo version. Okay, now this is a trick I also learned 
Um, so you go right here. And he takes a while to get across. Oh, freaking shit. Fuck it. I'll just do it this way. Shit. Big mistake. Fuck. Screwed up. But yeah, that's... Um... Yes, I get my long whip on. All right. So, your best bet is just to go right here and hit him by the head. Because that's his real weak spot right there. And bam, he's dead. That's one of the tricks I know to defeating him. Oh, okay, there we go. <clears throat> Okay, now we're on to the next level. And the good thing is you can choose from this point on what you want to do. Well, let's see, where should I go? Hmm. I like how you can choose on this game. It kind of reminds you of Simon's Quest. Except Simon's Quest, you go whatever way you can go, but you don't choose where to go. This one, you can choose whatever one you want, whatever path you want to take. And I choose this one. But the difference between here and Simon's Quest is yes, when you play Simon's Quest, <clears throat> you go through these different paths you choose, but you don't necessarily get choice like on this game. At least you get a choice to choose. Which I think is uh, pretty interesting actually. And you know it's pretty cool. Alright. Here we go. Take out that flaming skull ghost. More hearts. The only thing I think is very difficult on here would be uh, the owls. The owls are always difficult to kill. But then again, you know, it's all good. Cool. <clears throat> I also like on this game how you get to pretty much... Be different characters like you can be a pirate count dracula's son you can also be a uh, what they call it a mage i guess the only problem though i see oh you fucking owls see i hate that shit fucking owls dude um <clears throat> the only thing that sucks though is you can only pick one or the other you can't have all of them together. That's what really sucks. But it's really cool. You can you can become different characters. Like you can change your character into something else, which I think is cool in a common note of sense. But yeah, it, it it's cool. You know, yeah. Fucking owls, dude. That's one way to take them out, is use the cross. The cross is your best weapon against those owls. You can always use holy water, but I prefer using a cross. Because that's the only way you're going to take those owls out. Screw it, just run right through it. Um,
here we go. I'm surprised that lighting didn't hurt me, but I guess it doesn't. I don't know. Or maybe it does. I'm not sure. Don't know. Okay, so now we're on to another part in this game. Uh, let's see. Where should I go? Can I go back? No. I'm definitely going to get the mage or the whatever it's called. I don't know. The spirit. Because the spirit is pretty cool. You know, people tell me that character sucks. Not necessarily. If you know how to use the character, they're pretty good. The pirate, he is cool because he can hang like from any upside down um, ceiling wall, but you gotta learn know how to use them too, because if you don't, then pretty much you die as well. Because you can also fall fast with him too, because he hangs and he falls very fast off the wall. I also learned here it's better to jump um, because when you do that, you have a better chance of getting past that area or that uh, damn jellyfish. I don't know, flying, flying jellyfish. I have no idea what they are, but yeah. What they look like, they look like flying jellyfish. But then again, that's probably what they are. Ah, oh, you frickin' damn spider. Damn spiders, man. And you would think they're dead. But then they keep coming back? Oh, shit. Got the damn knife? I didn't want the knife. All right, now this is the part that I always find interesting. This guy actually, he's pretty easy because all he does is just keeps going back and forth. So what you do is you go right here, wait for him to come back. Oh shit, but if you time it too fast, then you die. There. Yeah, he's easy. Damn Cyclops fucker. Sometimes if you know he's going to come back very fast, you did it too soon, see? You got to time it just right. And then you go down again, you hit him again. I'm just glad, like, the lighting doesn't kill me. Thank God. <laughs> If it did, that would suck, you know? Oh, shit. So you gotta time it just right when he goes all the way back. Then you go down here again. Oh, fuck. Screwed up. Shit. So, yeah. That's pretty much how you defeat that Cyclops bastard. Uh, fuck. That fucking sucks, man. I gotta do all that shit over. Which is bullshit. Fuck! <sighs> Boy, 
that sucks. It's like, yeah, you gotta do it over, you gotta do it over, I guess, huh? Yeah. Alright. So this guy is easy. You just go like that. Wait for him to go a long distance away. Damn it. And then he... Sometimes he does do that. He knows your pattern pretty well, I guess. Shit, fucker. He sometimes tricks you, too, because you think that he's going to probably keep going in that direction. Sometimes he doesn't. It's like right there, see? He didn't do it. Now you go down again. <clears throat> The reason why I do this, because then you don't have to have him run after you, see. And it's much easier to kill him this way. Just gotta wait for him to go in that direction. See, this, that's a trick I know. I'm sure anyone else knows that trick too. But that's how I beat him pretty easy. To me, he's an easy boss, actually. The only hard part is when you fight him on the ship. That's where he's freaking hard as hell to kill. Because you don't have that much... Uh, um, room to go by. Thanks for helping me. Uh, what the hell? I didn't get a chance to see your name. What will you do? Take him with you. Yes. But the one thing I do like about the spirit is he can shoot up fire and stuff once you get the book. The only problem with that is it uses up hearts. The pirate, you don't have to use up any hearts. He can hang on ceilings and he can use a dagger, which I don't think uses up hearts, but it's not. A dagger is cool and all, but it's not that strong. Your whip is probably still better than a dagger. So there you go. <clears throat> and usually it's better to use a timer would say. There you go. Sometimes I hate when he doesn't jump like it's supposed to, though. But then again, what the fuck? I hate that, too. So you get ghost, flaming ghost, flaming host, with the ghost of the most. Wait a minute, that's uh, Beetlejuice, yeah. Beetlejuice, what the fuck? Hmm. 
you know what? I'm going to go down here and get some meat. Got to put some meat on me bones. Shit. Fuck that up. All right, let's go this way. <clears throat> I hate that freaking spirit looking ghost thing. <clears throat> I really do. That thing's a pain in the ass. Alright, here we go. Make sure I have enough hearts for my special weapon whenever I get it and stuff, you know? Yeah. Well, that was a waste of a weapon. Now, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Now, the one thing you got to know about these platforms, don't take too much time to figure out what to do. Just keep jumping. Because if you take too long to think about it, you screw up and then, you know, you don't get across very easily. All right. Here we go. Medusa. Here we go. I'm going to fight Medusa. Yeah. Ah, oh, you frickin' beat-up-ass, big, fucking bitch snake. That's what you get. <clears throat> hmm. So that takes care of that. Yep, I got some meat on me. Alright, I need to take these guys out. Come on. That's what you get. Okay, let me save right here. Just in case if I need to. Bam. It's a big freaking ship, that's all I gotta say. <coughs> you know? <coughs> now, the other thing. Ah, fuck. I knew that happened. All right, so let me load it back where we we're at. And then you just go from here. Bam. Bam. And from here to there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Your best bet is to keep... Uh, to not uh, stay on the platform, just keep on jumping until you get to a platform where it's more stable, and then kill the two birds. Or the hawks, or whatever they're called. Crows. Damn crow. Frick you. Frick you! Okay, got the axe. All right, I got the axe. Okay. This is a part that might be a little tricky, but the mummies are pretty easy, I think. 
So these this will be easy when it comes to the mummies. It's a Cyclops guy that he's going to be a little bit harder, but just got to know the pattern and what to do. That's all. <clears throat> yeah, Cyclops guy, he's going to be the, the, the pain in the butt to kill. So you just got to really do it in a tedious way. Because see, he runs after you. That's what I hate about that asshole. I hate when he runs after you. Because then it makes it harder to kill him. Because see, you're not on a stable platform like before. You have to actually move and uh, just time it just right when you hit him. And then get him. I mean, I could still get him, but he's uh, protected. Or protected by, uh, what's it called? Wow. Oh. But, yeah, you can only hit him in the head. Ah, you fucker. See, I knew that hurt. I knew I would die there. <clears throat> Let me load it back. See, the mummies are the easiest on here. So all you gotta do is just kill them just like one by one. Just be careful with the bandage. Damn it. Fuck. Hold on. <clears throat> Fuck. And that's what I hate when I screw up there. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Bastards, dude. What the hell? Oh yeah, I know there's another trick. Hold on. When it comes to these mummies, I also figure out another trick. Because since they can't go any further from this specific area, I just do this. Bam, see? One's dead. And then just save it here. <clears throat> Check the others. Ah, what the hell? That wasn't supposed to happen. And then what you do is, yeah, you go after him. He will be easy because obviously that's it. He's dead. Now, save it here. Just like I said, the Cyclops guy, he's kind of hard because he does not stay in one place. And you don't have that many places to go in order to dodge him. It's the same thing just like being at the what's it called the graveyard it's pretty much the same thing except you can't jump up on any higher platform on this one it has to be on a lower platform and that's what makes it harder see he can chase me easy here I have no no uh, way to in a good position to get him. So this is what you do. Oh, oh, see? That's what you gotta do. You gotta juke his ass. When he starts running, that means don't hit him. Because that's because you're not going to win if he, if he runs and you try to hit him with your whip. You're just going to just screw up a lot. 
Your best bet is to get him when he doesn't run. Ah, oh, you asshole. And that's where I screwed up. But yeah, that's pretty much how you kill him. See? You can't kill him easy. So when he runs, you're screwed. You can't hit him. Just gotta keep jumping. Jupe him. Ah, you asshole. I hate when he does that shit. It's the only thing I hate. <coughs> mm. Mm. Fucker. Fucking cyclos piece of shit. Fucker. Damn it. He just keeps running. No. Of course, you know, you can still hit him when he's coming at you. Just gotta make sure he doesn't ram you. Run at you. Okay. <clears throat> that ship is down for the count, right? Yeah, it's down. Oh, I got the frickin' knife. Oh, that sucks, but oh well. Guess I'll just go with the knife. Okay. Save right there. This part, I just keep going up. I don't really care about these stupid uh, horse flying, whatever they call them. See, they're easy to dodge as long as you're on the stairs, they can't knock you off. Which I think is good because why should they be able to knock you off the stairs? That would suck. But then again, that would make it more realistic. But to me, Oh, you fuckers. Shit. I gotta start over. But, no, I don't. Just gotta keep going. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. That's okay.
Hopefully I got an extra life or something. Hopefully I do. I'm not sure if I will or not. But. Oh. Here we go. Oh, that's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. Hold on. I hate when it happens. I hate when he doesn't fucking jump. It's freaking crap, dude. <clears throat> then I gotta wait for this stupid to pop up again. Kill him. There. Now he did it. Oh, yes, dodge those idiots. All right, let me save here, just in case I lose my spot. All right. <clears throat> this is where I save sometimes here too as well. <clears throat> hmm. One interesting thing about an emulator is you can always save wherever you want. But I still prefer the regular console the best all the time. Emulators are just an emulate it's just a simulation of the regular console it's always, but the regular console is always even better. No doubt about it. Oh no, I did just say what I did. Fuck! Oh well. Oh, died. Fuck. Hold on. Let's try again. And usually I just save right here because bam, this is going to be a pain in the butt to do. 
What the hell? That's also a thing too. When that happens, you gotta really be quick and just go up. Alright, save here. <coughs> Screw it, I'm just gonna redo it. I fucked it up. Alright, here we go. Damn these crows. That's what you get. That's what you get, crow. Let's just save here. <coughs> mm. Fuck! Keeps getting a ladder. Why the hell? <clears throat> mm. All right. So here's Frankenstein. Now imagine if I didn't get that meat, I wouldn't be able to kill him. Well, I could, but that meat just helps keep your life, you know, in good condition. There you go. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Oh crap, did I just do it over? Yes, I did. Fuck! Oh well. Bam. Alright, time to kick Frankenstein's ass again. I have to say, I know I defeated him. What the hell?
fuck. I was right to the door. I was right to the door. Fucking shit. Son of a bitch. <coughs> mm. What the fuck? <coughs> oh. <coughs> mm. mm. All right, here we go. Oh shit. Fuck. All right, let's try this again. Oh, you ass.
the park. Oh, fuck. Shit, hold on. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Fucker. I'm already at the boss. Crap, I hate this. This is a part I hate because this part, I think this bridge falls. Yep. Or this platforms fall, I mean. Ah, oh, bullshit. Fuck! Fucking shit, dude, I dodged that. Hmm.
going to pause. Okay, pause here. Oh, what the hell? Oh shit, didn't make it. Damn it. Shit. Damn, come on. Fuck. Walk right off.
Oh yeah. <clears throat> you start saving it right here, I guess. Oh. What the fuck? Come back. What the hell? Should have made that jump. I don't get it. Fuck. Fucking bitch.
man. Screw that. Shit. Fuck. Damn it. Shit, jumped up.
Yeah, we're good. Kidding me. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Might as well just use my axes. Fuck this. Can't be zombies.
Oh, crap. Well, that's all for now. Uh, definitely please check out uh, my YouTube channel for all my video game Let's Plays. Anyway, y'all take care and thanks again. I hope you enjoy watching this Let's Play. This is part one of Castlevania uh, 3, Dracula's Curse. I already have part two uploaded as well. So please check that out too. And again, if you want to tweet me on Twitter, you can go right ahead. Uh, it's right here. Um, this is my email address, I mean. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Cinema Storms. And my Facebook's right there. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, take care, everyone. And thanks for watching. Bye for now. And you're all awesome. Oh, yeah.